Hey guys, welcome to Prince of Peace Tarot. I'm Justin, and today I'll be doing a reading for those of you with Capricorn placements in your chart. So if you have Capricorn anywhere within your chart, this reading could resonate with you. And if it does, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. That way you'll be updated anytime that I put out a reading. Okay guys, so before I jump into your spread, let's say a prayer. Infinite Creator, Olodumare, to my higher self, my Ori, Ashu, Obatala, to the Agum Marine Laie, Holy Spirit, Spirit Guides, to my benevolent ancestors, known and unknown, Florine Williams, Norman Williams, Exius Willie, thank you for allowing me to source the most accurate reading for those with Capricorn placements in their chart. All right, guys, let's get into your reading. It's a five-card spread, including the top and bottom of the deck. First card out is Six of Cups in the reverse. The Wheel of Fortune in reverse. The King of Swords in the upright, Queen of Cups in reverse, Nine of Swords rounding out the spread in the upright. At the top of the deck, we have the High Priestess, and we have the Hangman at the bottom. This is kind of spiritual, too. But this has more to do with a new phase in your life. And I say kind of spiritual, too, because I just got done recording uh, Taurus is reading and if you have Taurus uh, placements in your chart you may want to check that out but um, this is very uh, spiritual and intuitive before I get into it deep um, I, I see the energy of a teacher with the six of cups queen of cups I also see some expert energy like very skilled energy of the um, king of swords and then there is a, a possible tarot reader or a healer Okay, with the High Priestess Will of Fortune. Sometimes the King of Swords can be a doctor, which will give me like a healer, uh, or a person who can remove things. Maybe you do Reiki or you have the ability to move negative energies, or you are a tarot reader um, or some form of psychic, or you just have some spiritual gift. Uh, Will of Fortune, High Priestess could be a reader, but it could also just be I have a spiritual gift. Then Hangman also gives spiritual gifts too, because. Um, that could talk about alternate realities or being um, able to access different dimensions. And there's something here about your sleep or a decision you made that I think you are upset about. So let's bring it all together. What's going on with you all is that um, there is something that was naturally ending, had ended or was supposed to end that wasn't, that didn't end or came back and you possibly, if you have not let this energy in, you have already let it in, all right? Six of Cups in the reverse tells me so. There's a karmic energy here, something very nostalgic, whether it be a friend or a lover, this was something that just should have died. Maybe right now you are going through a phase in your life where you feel like things are getting old with particular friends or a relationship. Like I, you just feel like there's nothing left here. There's nothing left here, okay? Um, now, you got to be careful who you let back in. I'm picking up feelings of um, revenge, suspicion, spite, and an urge to devastate, to really devastate. Now, I don't know if that's like you trying to be self-destructive or someone trying to come back in your energy to do that to you. But um, when I have the Nine of Swords, King of Swords, and then Hangman in reverse, I would be very careful about who you allow to come back in, especially if it's an ex. If you guys are resurfacing anybody that it ended, it just ended in the past and then here they come back and you're trying to do a new thing with them, oh, it's it's uh, like lipstick on a pig, trying to eat some spoiled milk. It's just not good. The only thing that I can say that would be possibly making you do this is the energy of codependency. And not trusting um, your intuition because, see, these two cards are very connected. This is a highly intuitive person, okay? They're a natural nurturer, but very intuitive, very intuitive. So, and I just said this, uh, who was it? I don't know if it was Taurus or it was Virgo, about trusting your dreams. Really trust your dreams with the um, uh, combination of High Priestess and um, Queen of Cups. Trust them. If you see something in your dreams pertaining to a particular person, it's probably the truth. Um, give me a second. Yeah, Six of Cups, King of Swords, telling me some old lover wants to come back for some of you. Um, if you already learned, 
you, you probably haven't. You probably missed the lesson. The uh, hangman in the reverse could talk about missing the lesson. Yeah, and that's why you possibly aren't letting something go fast enough or are letting something come back in because you missed the lesson. These spiritual cards that I'm feeling, um, this relationship caused a spiritual awakening in you. And if it did and you walked away, then keep it moving. But so don't go back if you know you already know like, wow, like that relationship really opened me up. It did something to me. It turned something on, whether for good or for bad. You know what I mean? Like, uh, even though it's over, whether we ended it amicably or it was a horrible split, I changed it. it I'm in a new phase right now or it's opening me up to a new phase. But if you know that and this negativity is coming back or maybe it's coming back in a different form, don't don't say like, you know, oh no, I'm in a new phase when you know you're dealing with an old energy. You know, like your queen of cups in reverse is telling me like you're not trusting a very strong intuitive knowing you have about a particular situation or a person. Um, yeah. And you may be connected to this person like y'all have kids together or something. Don't let this be like, oh, we're trying to work it out for the kids. Like there's, there's something here about children, mother and children. When the cups connect like that, it, you don't have to stick. Look, fi figure it out. You know what I mean? Like if you know you can't even depend on a person, their presence is not necessary. You know, if they're not providing anything. um, Give me a second, because, you know, a lot of people for the kids, mm, whatever. Um. With the High Priestess and the Wheel of Fortune, there you could be lacking patience. As soon as I saw the Wheel of Fortune in reverse, I immediately um, felt like the timing was off. Someone's timing is off. Actually, something luck is on your side. Your impatience actually makes you miss out on a lucky situation. So um, be more patient because something really good will come out of your patience. Also, this person could, honestly, if you let them stay too long, they will shift your fortune. They will throw off your timing. Mm -hmm. This is a nightmare. I feel like some of y'all are thinking like, what the hell did I do? Why did I let this person back in? Why hasn't this stopped yet? Why have not? Why can't I let go? Um, but you will be able to. I don't know what, what's going on. Give me a sec, y'all. Luck is on your side. And y'all have a, a real gift. A real spiritual gift. Six of Cups is telling me that you need a change of scenery or, you know, it's a change of connection. I don't know if you've just been, I don't know, what hasn't shifted yet or what is not being allowed to shift because someone is still there. But, yeah, things, you are supposed to be phasing. You, it's a new phase. You got to phase out, phase out of this. It's natural. It's a new stage that's supposed to happen. Will of Fortune in reverse, whoever this is, whatever it is, causes instability in your life. Let me see if I got anything else. You got luck on your side. There is an, a major spiritual awakening occurring to you or it already happened and you need to just trust it. Just trust it. Move forward more confidently with the King of Swords energy. But be careful because, I mean, with the way the King of Swords sits over the Nine of Swords... If there is somebody in your life that uh, is really manipulative, really good at like manipulating you or is cruel in some kind of way, you got to let that go. The King of Swords isn't in the reverse, but I just feel like you may be giving somebody too much power that they don't even really have. It's given to you. It's given by you. You're giving them the power by possibly being codependent in a particular way. You don't need them. You don't. But if you want to relearn a lesson, that may be happening. It is throwing off your timing for something you truly want. Definitely. You should um, <clears throat> trust your intuition more. And I know some of you guys really are seeing something particular in your dreams that you should heed. Heed your dreams. You know, whether it be a warning or a new outcome or a new life. If you see a new life for yourself, work towards that and not towards something in the past. I don't know if this is a lover, friends, or whatever, but it's this is supposed to be over. It's like done. It's done. You're entering a new phase. You got to accept that. Capricorns. Something about you has changed and it's different. And you just have to accept the difference that, you know, has occurred in you. Okay? That is what I have for you. Um, mm -hmm. This will be a big lesson you learn out of this one because... I'm just saying, like, if you already learned and it was harsh, it may be harsher to truly 
nail it in and hammer it in. Like, are you sure you want to keep doing this? Ugh, I hate when those lessons don't don't let it get that harsh. Don't let it get that harsh. This I don't know if this is depression you're dealing with or whatever the case may be, but don't let it get to this point. All right. That's what I have for you. If it um, resonates, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. That way you'll be updated anytime that I put out a reading. If you want to book a personal reading, the link to book is in the description box below. All right, guys.